Australia, Mia? I am. I'm currently in Sydney. I'm usually based uh, on the Gold Coast, which is north of Sydney, but I'm in my hometown now. What brought you back to your hometown compared to Sydney? Uh, Well, actually, I mean, I've been a long-term Queensland resident. I chase the sun and I do love it where it's warm, but uh, I came to actually be with my mother. She's Uh, She's been through a lot of health troubles. And so I thought I'd come back and basically help her out. And as soon as uh, the board is allowed, I basically jumped state so that I could be here. Yeah. So. Wow. And so how much of your life did that change in making the decision to be where your mom is, which is your priority right now? It's a huge, it's a huge change, actually. Um, Yeah, I'm used to sort of gallivanting all around the place and having many different life adventures that go along with my music. But it's, uh, it's a different part of my adventure to come back home. And I've actually written about Sydney and places that I've been. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of epic, actually, to be back. I yeah I mean I'm enjoying it it's really accessible I'm used to being in really really strange remote places so you know I've spent a lot of time in the Rocky Mountains in America a lot of time in the desert in Arizona so it's actually been a long time that I've avoided being in a in big city society so it's uh it's quite interesting to be back after all of these years and it's nice kicking around my old neighborhood I'm enjoying it. I love that. And then do you still chum around with anyone that's from the area? Originally? Well, I've been, I've been sort of slowly catching up with uh, a, few, a few people just from here and there that I've known for a really long time. Like I'm doing 20 and 25 year reunions over here, which is pretty crazy. So uh, I'm really enjoying it. Sydney's actually a really beautiful city. And I think the only reason I avoided it for so long was expenses. And also I do like, I have a bit of a country heart. Like I like being in remote places. So, um, but I've been away just long enough and been through enough that I can really enjoy how convenient everything is. Like I walk across the hub bridge a couple of times a week, which is really nice. And everything is, it's a lot more convenient than in America. Like America is quite difficult, you know, sometimes you have to spend all day just to sort of go on a mission, but here everything's almost immediately around you. So it's really, it's really cool. I'm really liking it. Wow. So you had a lot of opportunity to leave the nest of comfort and you are back for the time being because you're prioritizing what's important to you. And then you're going to do what after the con video game shifts direction? Oh, there's so many things that are coming up for me, I think. Uh, So it's, I'm sort of trying to enjoy my time here. Um, I'm currently separated from my husband in the sense that he's uh, doing some work sort of for our future. He's working on a fishing boat in Alaska right now. So eventually uh, I'll be back in the US where I've been for a very long time. But for now, uh, I'm, I'm just kind of happy to, to find my feet here again and discover all my old places that I used to hang out as a kid and just enjoy everything that's, that's here, which is different. I'm used to being by the beach. So I totally know what you're talking about when you say beach time. Like I was living on the beach for a good 10 years and it's, you know, you know, when you see the pictures of the Gold Coast of Australia um, and it's all perfect like that, it really is like that every day. And that was really my front yard every day. So, yeah, so it's, it's a totally different thing, but I'm really happy to be here and uh, lots of projects coming. So it's, I'm really excited about this album, actually, you know. Really, really excited. How many artists did you say are on there? Super glad that you're part of it. And we've got 22 songs and some of them have multiple artists that are on it. So 
We're excited to be about 27 contributing artists on the 22 That's songs. amazing. I never thought that I'd be like on a various artists collection, but it's actually really, really exciting. And I think, I think I've been affiliated now with Mad Hatter Music for probably a little over a year, maybe, yeah, just on a year and a half. And so it's, um, I keep missing the the events that you guys are running because of the time difference. And, yeah. um, but I catch up with them and I try to stay in the loop. And so it's really nice to to do this interview and to, yeah, just to like really be a part of it and contribute music to such a good cause, such an important cause. Yeah. So would you be able to speak into the connection of mental health and music for you? Absolutely. I mean, I I believe that pretty much all artists and creatives have definitely touched on mental health issues. I think it's one of the things that makes creating something beautiful and real because it tends to touch on a place that you know the creator understands where they've dealt with some struggles themselves I think we've all had struggles in life some harder than others um I've had a very hard road and I think because of that I've made hopefully very interesting songs that people love and uh I I guess being a Gen X, you know, we were the first generation that started to talk about our mental health and the generation above us didn't at all. And, you know, it's, I've always felt for them. And so I think that we're quite lucky that we're from a very expressive generation Mm -hmm. that has been on the forefront of very many things, including the internet. And it makes it very poignant because we've sort of been there at the start of it, uh, you know, in chat rooms, talking to strangers because we were lonely at home or trying to connect beyond our, you know, what seemed like our meager universe. And so I think, I think mental health and music do go hand in hand. I think it's a perfect union to use music to propel awareness for mental health uh, and prepare people for the understandings you know, that come from what they feel in music and, you know, and messages that, uh, that creators are trying to give. I think it's, it's, a, it's a perfect union. I'm really, really happy to be a part of the project. We're very glad that you are as well, Mia. And then tell us about Boom and the song that you actually contributed to the project. Boom is actually a really special song to me. Uh, All of my songs are sort of like my children and that's like one of my first children. So uh, I really love Boom. It's really special. It was part of my first industry collection and it was so important because it really laid the foundation out for my storytelling. And a couple of things that's worth noting is I used to live on the beach at the time that I created Boom. And so I'm very, very inspired by uh, the direct nature of the ocean and the sand and the swelling storms, a lot of tropical storms in Queensland. Uh, And I I felt that that particular song sort of had this, this ebb and flow, which was very similar to moods in your life Mm -hmm. and you know the heart of a person how you can feel so elated and then you can feel deflated and you can I guess in a way summon your power your personal power Mm -hmm. and so it is it's a it's a bit of a song of personal empowerment where you know you feel you really tap into your emotions like you would with you know a storm coming and and you sort of and and yeah I, I've just I've connected to that part of me and uh, I think that I'm hoping that a lot of people can relate as well because often nature can help them feel things and you know uh, your mood can be so beautiful but have moments of sadness and that's all part of you know our mental processes I guess. Most definitely. And then in terms of your music career, vocation, 
what music means to you, why you do it. Are you normally a solo artist? Are you someone who collaborates? What's the coolest thing that you've done with others in the music industry it would be a good place to start? It's a good question. Uh, I am primarily a solo artist and I think it's just been out of necessity. It's one of those things where, you know, when you need to get something done, sometimes you're the only one standing. <laughs> but uh, I've been really fortunate to be involved in a lot of collaborations. I started out uh, as a solo, but I connected in my very early days with a, a hip hop group in the Gold Coast. And we started sort of making music that way. I was sort of like the, the Fergie to their Black Eyed Peas. Okay. And so I'd do the musical hooks and, uh, and then they were doing the rapping, but we're all sort of living the same sort of existence. And after that, uh, along the lines, I have, I was very fortunate to start collaborating as a producer with a lot of really talented session musicians. And so there are, some of those musicians exist on Boom. They, the radio actually labeled it world hip hop. And so it did have an element where things were wordy and rhythmic. And so that was sort of important to that particular collection. Uh, and musically, I love collaborating with people. I'm really happy to do it. I think the more diverse, the more interesting it becomes. Uh, but I'm pretty much, I'm willing to, to work with anybody who is basically willing to go through the publishing stage. I'm sort of beyond the point where I throw things away. I really like to be able to achieve a full uh, publish. And so uh, I will continue doing a lot of solo work because that's the best way for me to make things happen. But when I have an opportunity to be with others, I'm very happy to do that, whether it be writing, whether it be doing commissions. Uh, I've done collaborations with Sweden, with Italy, uh, with the US, and I'm looking for more. So yeah, I, I like working by myself, but I also love doing collaborations because sometimes it's a, it's a little bit lonely as a solo artist so it's nice right. to sort of have musical friends to work with mm -hmm. and what has it yeah. meant to you to be part of album 22 it's meant a great deal to me it's funny because I feel like I'm a part of something bigger I think that's the big thing that sort of really sits is that uh you know I'm just an artist in the world making my my music and my art and it's really nice to be put in a collection with so many other people who have totally different stories they're from different places different styles but we all have the same underlying uh, cause and care for the purpose which is to create awareness for mental health in music and I, f I think that that's really, really special. And I think that um, as someone who's also been a publisher for a really long time, co collections really matter to me. So beyond the song, where the song sits, I guess it's kind of like a short story in a storybook. Where yeah. does it sit? You know, what are the illustrations? How does it work in the context? So that's what I'm really excited about is to, to be one of those people that's, um, that's contributed something to such like a glorious album with you know 27 people as you said it's right. really exciting yeah it really is and Luna Keller and I actually went through and figured out the order and I kind of left it to Luna to make the final call because she was really listening for the intuitive nudge as to where things were meant to go and it was just like okay look I don't really know what I'm doing specifically when it comes to music. So you've got experience in this. Let's just let you do it. And then I will just have a final look at it. But I will be happy however it goes because you put your energetic signature on that. And like you cared enough to say, I need some time rather than rushing it and making it an energy of obligation into yeah. it so it was very much a conscious creative process for even the arrangement of the songs and then we're going to actually do another project in the fall around youth and rescuing the children within so that we can actually bring in more of a soul connection we can make it so that people 
have an idea of what to turn to, including you, you're like inside of you, you as the artist to be able to really do that healing work that allows healed people to heal people rather than making yes. it always about hurting people, hurting people, you know? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that project's coming in the fall and then we're going to have another album 22.2 in wow. 22 like so in in 2022 so like that's like just three projects that I can think of as being easy next steps and yeah. there's going to be a mentorship component to it as well that's wonderful yeah. So for someone like yourself that actually has now been part of an album, you've got your own songs published, you've been producing music for a while, and now you can add all of that together and then be able to say, you're connecting to somebody that, you know, maybe wants to be a producer, maybe wants to be a singer, maybe wants to be a guitarist and you know is stepping out of the comfort zone the well-trodden path to mediocrity they're really daring to blaze their own trail and you are the one whose music they listen to and resonate with to be able to push through when they maybe wanted to give up so it's just like we're going to create an experience where you'll be able to actually connect with some of these younger people so that's really wonderful component to this that's kind of coming together now too and i would love if you were to have a younger person in your midst right now who was really looking to you for you know the greatest lesson that you learned after you graduated from school and stepped into the real world especially when you transitioned into music as well. I feel like your experience will be very motivating to others. Yes, and you know what? I'd be really happy to be a part of uh, those upcoming programs because I really feel that I'm sort of at that point in my life where I do want to pass on skills. It's not always easy when you've been, uh, you know, a solo artist for so long to actually connect with the people that, that might need those skills. So I think that uh, the facility that you guys are providing are gonna, is gonna be perfect. I actually did set up in the last year, uh, my own very small label. And so it was, it's basically to celebrate, you know, the fact that I've been doing it for so long and that I guess we all sort of grow with new projects. And it was my way of finding a facility for being able to help people that, do want assistance with digital publishing that might not have had formal education that would like some mentorship. Mm -hmm. And so it's directly in line with what you're talking about. So I'll be really happy to jump on board to that project when it Amazing. comes up. Because if there's any younger people out there that do, um, that, that want to tap into some skills and be able to talk to someone who's had experience, I would love to be one of those people because it's really important, I think, to help the next generation. But it's not always easy for us to connect uh, when we're doing such different things. And so, you know, you guys give us the forum for that, which is just amazing. And that's, and I love this. It's so nice to, to be with you and, um, and to have a chat because, you know, you probably understand as a creative yourself, uh, you can often get so wrapped up in projects that before you know it, time is flying and you haven't really had a lot of direct interaction I mean you get messages you get feedback from people and it's wonderful you know you keep your your game growing but it's just not the same as you know physically reaching out and yeah. saying hey like who are you right so, yeah. yeah why we're doing this series to make sure people have an opportunity to meet the woman behind the music and to really know what life's like when you're not on the radio or when yeah. you're not, you know, singing a ballad to somebody's heart, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. And, and then they're the good questions. And so, yeah, it turns out that life happens and uh, a lot of work around that. And, um, you know, a lot of conceptualizing for the next projects, I, I guess, 
I guess in a way artistry is interesting it's sort of in a way you you sort of concoct, concoct like a little shell that you're in and then every once in a while you sort of you come out of that shell and uh and so the question is what happens during that time mm. and then and then what is the process of when you're back in that shell when you're just kind of you know transforming and then deciding what you're going to create next it's a pretty interesting existence. I, I've been very fortunate to get away with it for so long. And I'm very blessed. I think that it's, I think it's really important to, to put it out there with the potential to actually, you know, plant any seeds in people that it's totally possible to pursue, you know, your life with creative endeavors and, um, and, and continue trying to make them, you know, matter matter to the world matter as part of a collaboration uh you know even just affecting one person here or there it's a pretty special thing to do i think uh, in terms of impacting somebody's life what would be your favorite story that you can share of somebody that came up to you and said oh my god mia your song really touched me and changed me and helped me make it through what would that story be there's been there's been a lot of amazing touching times where you know someone has sort of come out of the woodwork and said something that's deeply meaningful i think one of the times that i had a really sort of next level experience was when I was, uh, I was doing a performance for a party in Arizona and a woman, she came out of the woodworks at the end of my set and I decided to sing an old jazz swing hit, which is very unlike me. I'm, I've always been performing originals, which is sort of the goal as an original artist. And I've been very fortunate. And so every once in a while, I'll throw in a cover and it'll be quite a big deal for me. A, a lot of people sort of relentlessly play covers. I, I don't believe in that. Um, but if it can sort of impact my set or my story or the experience, you know, I'll bring it in and it'll, it'll be quite an impassioned song because it's it's a rare rare thing and so I decided to sing this uh song swinging on a star and it's something that reminded me of my childhood I'm pretty sure there was a tv show that had it as a theme and you know it was a big deal to the generation above but this woman she actually had she had just turned a hundred and that's incredible in itself you know uh I think many artists dreaming of being able to sort of last that long uh, I have no particular I, I have no particular uh I'm just not sure if I'll last that long is what I'm trying to say you know and so it's uh I've had a pretty interesting life so who knows what'll happen but this woman she came up to me and she actually had tears in her eyes and she said thank you so much for singing that song I haven't heard it live since I was a child and it's always meant a really great deal to me in my life and I felt so chuffed that, you know, I was speaking to someone of a different generation who had really hit an amazing landmark. And that particular conversation that we had, however short, she also insisted on giving me a hug. Uh, it was quite profound because it was such a small thing that mattered to me to sing this song. It was, you know, I created an excuse to be able to to have this moment with this particular piece of music and for it to affect somebody else to the point at which you know she wanted to speak to me directly about it and for me to understand the connection that she had to that music it really was an amazing moment it was just it was one of those things that made me realize how important it is to to take your music out in different forms because often I will be, I'm a primarily a recording artist. And if I had, you know, one life, it would be in the studio. Um, but sometimes it's really important to be able to take it out, you know, into the real world mm -hmm. face to face. And some people only gig and they don't do any recordings. And it's really difficult to sort of find time to do two. So for me, it is quite a big deal when I go out and perform. And so, yeah, I, I just want to say that it was it was just one of those moments where you I really felt a warmth in another human and I felt like what I had done 
had given them a memory that will last and that was special and they gave me the exact same in return you know instead of remembering me singing the song I remembered the conversation afterwards I love it yeah so it's really important music is transformational it's how we unite all the hues of the humanity that we are all part of and we all come from we all go back to and only feel separate from in between when we put words in between us and it's yes. just like let's just take the walls down and let those become the bridges that connect the dots which are us carrying yep. the information that's going to unlock the shadow within somebody so that more light can come in and then we can actually illuminate the world that we live in yes absolutely i am so grateful that you said yes i'm so grateful you were inspired i'm so grateful you intend to continue saying yes and to share the insights that you've learned the hard way from all of your travels through the journey of music musicianship mm -hmm. and so would love to know if you had just one piece of information that you could share with somebody as the their first introduction to you what would that be I'm going to answer with uh, by saying you had mentioned to me just prior to our talk that it might be interesting if I had something to say to the young people. And I think I'll use that angle to respond <clears throat> because I guess that's upcoming projects. We're looking at mentorship. Um, you know, we talked about how important music is and let's talk about how we can connect it to the, the current youth uh, of the world. So I actually just made a note here and I wanted, I wanted to say something directly to not just the young people, but the people who might be young in the game. Maybe they've, you know, had different careers and they were thinking it might be nice to do a creative endeavor in their life. They thought, what would it be like to ever be an artist in the world? And so anyone who might be more mature, but feel young, um, for a particular reason, I think that it's important to tell them, find time, find time to create. I think that that might be one thing that artists have in spades that other people don't get an opportunity to. We find a way to carve that time into our lives because it's a necessity for us to exist. Part of it is a selfishness, part of it is a responsibility, part of it is you know, a want and a yearning from the world. But I think part of it is that we create a lifestyle that insists upon that and so maybe other people who are working like 40 hours 60 hours a week um, have children have many things going on it might be really difficult for them so I really wanted to drive that point home and say find the time make some time to create I think that's really important um, growing is really important mm -hmm understanding that everything in the universe grows, the world grows, we grow, our songs should grow as well. Yeah. I don't believe, it might be different when you're a visual artist and you're making a painting and I haven't done that sort of thing for a really long time. When you finish it, it really is finished. I have a slightly different philosophy. I think that when you put something into the world that is a piece of music, I feel like it should never be finished. And so what I mean by that is return to your creations and see how you can help them grow. For example, this song, Boom, it's it's a really beautiful song of mine. And more than that, it has two totally different versions, which shows that it's a very important song. And in this, in this album, it's a whole new way for it to grow now. Like it can be exposed on a different level. It can touch people on a different level and it can be renewed. Um, and so that's, so if that makes sense, I wanted to kind of have the, the concept of growing and just sort of say that that's really important. If you have rigidity and you're not willing to to adapt mm -hmm. or be flexible or allow things to grow, then I think that you, you lose the ability to create to the fullest. 
And then there's one more thing I really wanted to say to the young people as well as anyone who's new in the game. Um, expression is really important. That's what I wanted to say. And so I think, again, as an artist and a creative, we demand that that be part of our lives. You know, our right is to express. Well, I want to extend that right to other people. And I want to say that it's, really important for people who have completely different lives than artists and creatives that they can connect with us and find a way to form an expression and deliver that expression and that that should be just as important to them uh, to coincide with their 60 hour a job you know 60 hour you know week corporate job just as important as us artists it being the next creation or the next pearl you know from us mm -hmm. what do you think i am so in love with everything about this interview about you about this project i am grateful that you're going to be part of the mentorship component and you've got so much value to offer i look forward to learning mm -hmm. more from you for sure because i'm very new to the game but i'm coming to it with eyes wide open and heart Amazing. wide open too and and i appreciate you thank you so much for all of your administrating and uh and directorship it's really very nice to know yeah. that we can sort of look look and count on you to uh <laughs> to coordinate these things so you know thank you for your work it's important yeah well thank you thank you for that i honestly i've just I've done it because it needed to happen and because it kind of came to me and then Jared and I had a conversation and then it was like, well, how easy would it be to actually turn this into an album? And it's just like, yeah, we can do that. And it's just like, okay, great. Like, let's just keep on working towards making this a reason to come back. Yeah. And then we ultimately came to this point of what is now going to be something that really helps somebody that needs it. And even more importantly, I feel is the start of the community that comes from ones that are willing to be part of a project that is not capitalizing on or profiting from people, but is to really empower people to understand, like, when are you being manipulated and who by and why? Look at the agendas, start asking critical questions, actually yeah, critical. understand what your rights are or you don't have any, claim your rights, like do the things that you were taught you didn't need to do. You do need to do them. That's why you were told you don't. So it's just like connecting to people that are down those rabbit holes that may seem like conspiracy theories until you find out that there's actually just a giant conspiracy that there's a whole bunch of different theories that all lead to it's just when you're only looking at like one piece of the puzzle you can't get the full picture but when you put a lot of those pieces all together it's just like holy wow like when the cow is in the fenced in yard pointing to the slaughterhouse with a diagram of a cow and it's different quarters described as pieces of meat rather than the beings that they all know themselves to be it's right like how what point do you stop calling it a cow spirit theorist mm -hmm. and instead say like hey well like that makes sense it's uncomfortable but like okay now that we're aware we can be aware and we can do something different so yeah, I like I like exactly what you're saying. And I think I think what you're saying is effectively like let's knock the complacency out of people and mm -hmm. inspire them and push them to actually be proactive to make changes. And That's so I think I, yeah, we're definitely uh we're definitely part of our own sort of little movement here of of um you know rattling a few cages right. and yeah, let's see what we can come up with. But hey, there is a network. We can all sort of do our part. Um, mm -hmm. So don't panic. And exactly. so it, it's, yeah, it's kind of, um, it's a creative circle. It's nice. Yeah, right.
Mm, mm. Uh, thank you so much, Mia. It has been this an absolute good. pleasure to connect with you tonight. Likewise. Drop your details down below uh, so we know how people can find more of your information. I would love for people to be able to support you and your work in a bigger way too. So definitely do make sure you go over and check out Mia Muse. And we will look forward to having Mia and the other album 22 artists on for summits and being able to mastermind and develop a greater mind because like minds came together for a common purpose which is the upliftment of humanity so absolutely amazing thank you thank you thank you thank you and thank you as well a phenomenal rest of your month the first half of the year is already gone what did we do with it is <laughs> Well, we created this album, so we that's good. Did, right? Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. like, oh, I sometimes feel so slow when you're in it. And then you look back and it's just like, holy wow, in six months, we developed something amazing. Like, what could we do in like nine or 10? It's just like, that's how long it takes for babies to be formed. It's just like, unbelievable. a law of gestation and law of gender. And it's just like, if we can just understand and respect how powerful we are as the creative beings of the world that we share, wow. Absolutely. It's been a total pleasure. Thank you so much for this. It's really nice. And I hope that really uh, everybody enjoys the album. I'm sure they will. It'll be really nice uh, for, yeah, it'll be really nice to get it, to get it finalized. So thank yeah. you for everything. And I look forward to when we meet each other again. Yes, me as well. And we will do some, um, we'll do some summits where you're actually able to participate at a time kind of like this time frame That'd and be great. Uh, we'll make it so that we'll actually do some summits that we kind of transition from the mastermind to a summit to be able to feature uh, artists with that way so you have a chance to kind of be part of panels together and then people can submit questions and so it's going to be super awesome it's just kind of like I feel like it's what people want it's just like it just kind of keeps dropping and so it's like okay next step next step next step so I'll well it's keep... perfect it just drops all these little gems out into the world and so I think uh it's all very tangible it's all very real the people have been truly creating uh and so it's you know how can you not enjoy that sort of stuff I really look forward to having you continue to be part of all of this. And if you want to even submit to what your specific strengths would be in terms of the mentorship role, like okay. there's, you know, even something that you feel like you could do an episode or, you know, a little teaching around that could be really beneficial, then that could be. Even I be can definitely to... come up with that. Yeah. For all you right. to be able to feature you know, some expertise that you've got so that somebody can like save themselves the difficult lesson that you learned the hard way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I will, uh, I'll definitely, I'll send you some, some information on that while I'm cool. capable of. So yeah, no, thank you so much. It's been great. And, you know, uh, thank you for your little beach story. It helped me live vicariously through somebody else's life momentarily yeah. so it's you know that's the one thing that I gotta say even though there is a little bit of beach access in Sydney it's not the same as my lifestyle up north so that's the one thing I really miss no matter where I am in the world it doesn't matter how glorious it is I miss the beach you know yeah so thanks for enjoying it for both of us it was really good to see you have a great day Mia I will Thank you so much, you as well. Take care, have a good Thank night. You. I never thought much how you keep on coming around. I look behind me and I see your solid ground. Now it's all about to blow out and I hope for the monsoon. Even though I'm feeling better, I will wait for the typhoon. Ooh. I shook my desire and you Such a token of grace You set the pace You set the pace You set the pace